Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Spider Man one here, and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Road to Damascus. So in the last episode, we obviously got the P90 done, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing the MP5, which has like a staple on this channel with what we do, except for the uh, riot shield and the other weapons in the game, because... Or like the riot shield, the knife, and the, uh, what was it? I think it was the, um, rocket launchers. Uh, we just need 10 more crouching kills on the dot. So hopefully I should be able to get these done. And then I will explain what I do for these easy camo challenges. And so as far as the class goes, you, I'm just running the FTAC collapsible stock. Obviously, sleight of hand, uh, triple grip tape, uh, the 45 round ammunition, and the subsonic integral suppressor, which just hides people on the mini map and kind of looks like the OG COD 4, like um, original like MP7 or MP5. Sorry, if you really wanted to make it look like it, then I think you'd use this one this one probably but or you can make this thing into the mp5k with like the mini things but this is gonna be my class and hopefully we can get this done in one game and I won't have to play a secondary one because that would kind of suck but anyways so yeah I don't know like what for me with the SMGs, since I haven't really talked about this, but the SMGs, they were pretty simple. Obviously, you can go pretty try hard with these things, especially if you have like the right class setups and stuff. Hardcore domination on shipment? Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting this done in one game. And then obviously, just like the last time, I will be using the Kilo 141 because I'm trying to get that done is my next weapon. As my next weapon for choice in the series because that's the first AR you unlock. So I'm thinking yeah, might as, might as well do it. And then right once we unlock headshots, then that's when things will become fun on this map. Because we'll see how many I can get out of the 125. But anyways... So as far as this SMG goes, out of the other SMGs, honestly, this one was kind of more of like a breath of fresh air. Because for some odd reason, this one felt the best out of all of them. In a way, that probably sounds really funny, but I'm not even gonna lie. This one felt like the most SMG-like, or I'm not gonna say SMG-like, frick that. Like, the best SM, or it just felt like it was easier to use, in my personal opinion. Because there isn't much recoil to this thing, neither is there to the P90, but the P90 was still, like, harder for those long-range shots. This thing, on the other hand, was kind of easier for those long range shots because, like, there isn't a ton of recoil. Oop, he's behind me. There isn't, like, a ton of recoil with this gun, but. So that made it, like, a lot more simpler, you know? Because the less recoil that a gun has, the easier it... That was a teammate. Okay. I almost just shot a teammate. Anyways. Um, but yeah. I just got stuck. Great. But yeah. Um, I don't know. This just felt like the easiest of the bunch. Then you get down to the MP7, which that thing's... Not really a laser like how it was in MW3, but 
it's pretty good. Oop, jeez, there were two grenades that were sent after me. That should be it, right? Yep. Cool. Gold camo unlocked. Anyways, now we have the fun ARs to do. So obviously, I'm gonna be working on the Kilo 141. Obviously that headshot won't count because I'm not at level 10. Which I'm surprised that they didn't do like a Black Ops 4 type thing for going for like these camo challenges. Like obviously they wanted to make this game their own game. So they obviously made it different. And they made it different in their own way. Um, I don't remember if the variant that comes with Nikto is with this gun or if it's with the M4. But the thing that made it like blue, that was one of my main draws for wanting to buy the uh, Nikto bundle pack. Because me personally, I'm just a fan of the blue can't or blue. And I think that's the main reason why I'm going for like Damascus and that stuff in like the first place. But I don't know. It's just personally I just enjoyed I just really liked the blue look that it gave out. And I just I kinda wish that I did buy it. But at the same time, currently I kind of don't have like the money that I can just spend all the way on just buying like in-game stuff that I'm not going to care about in like a month. Depending on if the next Call of Duty game is bad or not, but still even if the next game's bad, I'll still play it. Like I played this game during its rough patches and I mean, yes, I obviously didn't really enjoy playing it through its rough patches, but the main thing that you have to realize is that while I was playing through those rough patches, the main thing that I was using during those times was the freaking, like, the riot shield, which has now been changed from double kills, thankfully, for those of you who are wanting to go for these camera challenges. Um, they have updated the, they've updated like the game to make it a little bit more stable and stuff since the beginning of the game's life cycle. And just overall they made some pretty good like changes and stuff. And the other good thing they're doing is like updating people every time that they are changing stuff. And for the most part, I'm not going to say 100%, but for the most part, the things that people want changed are being changed. <laughs> Which I can't say that for most games because most games usually they don't get that type of stuff happening to them. Except for if we're talking about Fortnite, but why well, talk about Fortnite on this channel? Um, so yeah. So now I can go for these headshots during these videos. And whenever I no scope and get a random headshot, then it'll at least be counted, unlike the last time. But the thing that'll make this even easier is if I can. Jesus Christ, how many grenades? Dude, come on. Oh my god. What do I use, man? I'm gonna try switching up the sight. Just to see. Because sometimes switching up my scopes, I actually found help me out with headshots. 
The only main problem with me right now is that I kind of feel like this thing is an SMG. Because I feel like it should be able to, like, easily be able to run across the map with. Aim down sights extremely fast if I really wanted to. But that stuff's obviously not happening. And I kind of have to get into, like, a different mindset with these things. But especially if I'm going to want to get these, like... 125 headshots, like, 100 SMG headshots weren't too, too difficult, I wouldn't say, because they were, like, doable in, like, a few matches, especially if you played Shipment, I'd say. Where is this thing? There it is. Dude, oh. Wait. Am I already the second camo in? Oh. But yeah, I'm feeling like I can, like, just run around with these SMGs. I'm gonna unlock, like, the best headshot attachment ever in, like, the next few levels, but that's obviously not gonna happen because the next scope doesn't get unlocked to level 13, so I don't know. And I know that I'm dying a ton, but you know what, it's shipment. People run like crazy, like a madman on this map, and they get a ton of deaths, they don't give two fucks, and I'm just one of those people. <laughs> like, if I do horrible on shipment, I could literally just not care at all. Like, I really cannot care at all. Like, it's shipment, you're not supposed to try, like, to do the best that you can ever. Obviously, if you do good, then that's nice, but if you don't, in my personal opinion, I really don't give two fucks. There's another headshot, which obviously shipment's gonna be the best for headshots, by the way. I might as well just mention that now. I just got shot by a teammate, cool. Headshot. So, which also means that I'm trying to say, like, hey, if you can play Shipman, then play Shipman and get those headshots done, because they will be super simple when you can spawn into the fucking map. Which, obviously, this stuff now kind of pissing me off, because it's just... There's only a so much amount of time that you can spend getting spawn killed over and over and over and over again. Like, you know. Yeah, 44 and 87. I was one death away from going. From going, like, basically. 0.5 KD, but I'm a person that doesn't really care about KDs on that map. Because frick the map. It spawns you in the most stupidest spots, man. Anyways, uh, here's green digital, which does not look really good at all. Because I'm pretty sure it's like fricked up right now. Yeah, some camos are. Especially like the final camos on things. I guess they're screwed up right now. There you go. And then, here's good old gold camo, which we're obviously gonna take our screenshot. And we're gonna equip it. And here's platinum for when you unlock it. And Damascus for when you unlock it. And as far as how to get these camo challenges easier, because I'm willing to help people and tell them simple ways to get these challenges done uh 500 kills obviously just kill 500 enemies uh 100 headshots just use like one of these random optics whichever one you find nice and then right as once you get to the scout combat optic i'd just recommend using that aim for people's heads and my controller batteries are low which i'm going to do that in between these recordings uh, crouching kills, just obviously crouch around the map like how I 
was doing. If you're not playing shipment, then I just recommend just crouching, running up, and then crouching whenever you think that the enemy is going to be near, and hope that you kill them. Uh, hip fire kills, like most hip fire weapons, use either the one milliwatt laser and the five milliwatt laser, and for the underbarrel, of course, use the Merc foregrip. Not just for the fact that it's a Merc, as in Merc music, but just because that's those two are the only two things that I'm pretty sure are in this game for hip fire accuracy. There might be something random for like the ARs and stuff that help it like three times as much, but I don't know that yet because obviously I haven't used them. Uh, as far as long shots go, I'm pretty sure the MP7 was also one of those odd weapons that I went into ground war with and just essentially used, um, which one was it? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I took off the barrel and used the monolithic suppressor. And as the under barrel, I used something that had recoil control, probably the ranger grip. Or it was the operator, it was probably the ranger foregrip. And I'm pretty sure I went into just like, Friggin' uh, ground war because I saw like a comment on a video or a comment in Reddit and it said, Hey, why don't you try going into freaking hardcore <laughs> or into freaking what's it? But then I started realizing, Hey, you know, there's easier spots than these spots that people are than these modes that people are telling me. Also, if you have these like sand snake and the flooded. And the flood variant, then I'd obviously recommend using those if you can. Because then it'll just help you get an advantage over having a few attachments instead of none. Um, as far as mounted kills, just mount around the map, especially if you're playing shipment. Just mount, like, basically wherever you can and get some kills. Uh, 250 kills while using 5 attachments. If you're not using this, which I'd obviously recommend you use this because it's like one of the best things because it has like a suppressor built into it. Plus it has aim down sights, no enemy skulls and no visible tracers. It's really good if you can get to that, but obviously it's the last barrel that you unlock. So I don't know about that. As far as reloading kills go, I just say use the 45 round mag with sleight of hand, shoot a bullet, reload, and just get as many kills as you can. I'm probably going to repeat that a lot because that's the easiest way to do these because every time that you get like a kill after you've reloaded, that is one kill. And since you have like 45 round, uh, 45 round mag, let's just say that it takes five bullets to kill somebody. There's nine kills if you can kill that many people with that many bullets in the mag. Which means that you'll be getting these in, done in like four or five lives, which is pretty fast, but obviously that's only if you get 40 kills in a match and do that. Uh, 75 kills without attachments. Obviously just take all your attachments off. And with the MP7, I'm pretty sure I did this on live stream, but anyways, with the three kill streaks without dying 25 times um just like the last few times i've said that i went into hardcore free for all because personally that's where i just find that i can stay alive a lot longer but with like the other smgs i'm pretty sure with the uzi with the buys on and with, or no sorry with the buys on and the mp7 i just did all of those in shipment and they somehow worked out actually really well. So if you're fine with playing that, then I'd recommend playing that. If not, then I just recommend going into hardcore free for all and trying to get as many kills as you can and trying to stay alive as long as you can. And since I have to add it into this class slot, I'm gonna have to add the dreaded M4A1 into this class. Um, also, I'm going to add the Pursuit variant, which I'm pretty sure you get as like the first thing. 
And I'm gonna put this on. Obviously gonna use the scout combat optic. That. And I think that's it. Incendiary grenade launcher, 12 gauge shotgun, merc grip. Anyways. How many headshots? 11 with this thing? Oh, shit. Wait, how many did I get that game with a kilo? Just wondering. Nine. Okay. Uh, what? Oh! Okay, cool. I unlock that next. That's nice. Anyways. Um, so yeah. Aw. Uh, I was hoping it would be the triple grip tape. It's probably level 60 where you unlock this grip tape. Triple grip tape. Anyways. Whatever. But yeah. I guess I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have, definitely do not forget to leave a like. Uh, in the next episode, we're obviously going to be doing the Uzi, but that's going to be it for next episode. And also, I'm going to insert some new batteries in the middle of the recordings. Because that's just what I need to do now. But, yeah. Just leave a like on the video. Uh, definitely comment down below on what else you want to see from the channel. Or just what else you'd want to see just in general. And if it's a game that I don't have, then I might just end up buying it. Who knows? I don't know. Um, well, I should know, but anyways. And definitely do not forget to subscribe for more to come out into the future because, you know, with my channel, there's always going to be more content. Because I'm not trying to stop the YouTube grind right now. I kind of did things in the past, which I probably shouldn't have because I could have easily grown my channel back when I created it. But I have basically tried to grow this channel at a bad timing. But you know what, whatever. We'll make do. Anyways, I guess I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I guess that means I will see you guys all in the next episode, which will be with the Uzi. And I'm just going to record this right after this video. But uh, yeah, guys, I guess we're... Uh, yeah. I guess it's been me, spider Evan one And uh, yeah, guys, peace out. Thank you.